Hi guys, welcome you again to another news. A Google state has now become a state whereby terrorists are now having a hopper hands. Of course, of recent we've had about series of incidents happening in Enugu state, one of the southeastern states in Nigeria, and now we've had about another incident that has led to a, a shocking, you know, mind to everyone. Everyone is shocked as they are now, you know, expressing their displeasure concerning the present insecurity situation of Nigeria. Guess what? Gunmen now declared 10 days sit at home in Enugu community. Not just that, the other markets to shut down and they also seize motorcycles. You might be wondering what has caused all this. Of course, we have been hearing about a series of incidents happening in Nigeria as a result of the insecurity situation. We just hope that in no time, all these things will become things of the past and will have a wonderful Nigeria of which we are belonging for. We would like you to sit tight as we go into the full details of the news to see what is actually playing out according to the news. The security situation in the Iboizi North local government area of Enugu State appears to be worsening as gunmen have issued a 10-day seat at home to mourn in the entire council area. Sahara reporters gathered that the seat at home was to mourn their colleagues killed by security agents in the council area. In a warning issued by the gunmen, they ordered all residents of the area to desist from going to a popular market, OKOZ, at Ogrute, the headquarter of the council area, or face the wrath of the dreaded group, which has been wreaking havoc in the council area. The declaration, it was gathered, has sent residents into a panic. The hoodlums were said to have started seizing motorcycles with Nigerian number plates and also warned school authorities in the council area to dismantle all Nigerian flags hosted at all secondary schools and primary schools in the local government. They equally ordered schools using any uniform which has green and white colors on it to change to other colors or face the wrath of the dreaded group. A resident of the local government area who pledged for anonymity to the Sarah, Sarah reporters that people have been killed almost on a daily basis at the council area. They said that the recent sit at home order came on the heels of renewed onslaughts on their members by operatives of the Ebobe Agu and Nigerian soldiers, which resulted in burning some residential houses of some of their leaders at Imufu, Omo Agama and Agwibeje community in the local government area. Another resident of the area who equally pledged for anonymity said the trouble started when some politicians in the council area slit a group of talks which they have been using during elections in a local government and trained some of them as Ibube Agu militias. The splinter group are now in the supremacy or court war with the trained Ibube Agu militias in the local government area and that's why there is chaos and insecurity in Ibuize North presently. Those fighting are neither member of the Indigenous People Lobby Afra or the Eastern Security Network, the source explained. Bothered by the escalating insecurity in the local government area, women who wore black attires protested in the local government area on Friday, but some of them were arrested and others dispersed with jaggers by the police. The women were reported as saying, We are angry that we do not have peace in our villages, our states and country. 
We want our leaders to stop the killings of our children and loved ones. Efforts to get reactions of the Enugu State Police Command were unsuccessful, as the command spokesman, DSP Daniel Undukwe, could not answer his calls. What is your take to this? What is your own reaction to this plan development? We've just had the present situation of things in Nigeria. The insecurity situation in Nigeria is going worsening every day and every time. Every day we hear about series of incidents happening in different states. Of course, we've heard about, you know, unknown gunmen kidnapping some residents, over four of them, and they are now demanding for ransom of the new note. They are demanding the new note as ransom. So, and according to what has been said by the CBN governor, this you know, new note will be in circulation by you know, December 15, and it is expected to have circulated by January 31st. The former one will be taken off, and the new one will be in circulation. And now, these people have been adopted, and we are expected, you know, to have the new note to get them paid as ransom. Can you just imagine the present situation of things in Nigeria? Now it is about gunmen who have declared 10 days sit at home in Enugu community. And they are beginning to seize motorcycles. Can you just imagine the situation? We would like you to let us know your own take on this. But before we go, let's see people's take on this. So Dick Isa reacted and said, Now I understand there is no government in Nigeria. Hells, these scandalous things can never happen. It's obvious that there is another faction of insurgencies apart from the Afran agitators, but deviling the southeast. Be like the Boko Haram and the ISWAP in the north. That is what has been said by Sadiq. That it is now obvious to us that there is no government in Nigeria. Because if there is government, all these scandalous things wouldn't have been happening in Nigeria, he said it's obvious that there is another faction of insurgency apart from the Biafran agitators, but they the southeast, such as the Boko Haram and the ISWAP in the northern part of Nigeria. What is your take to this? Do you think these people could be IPOP, or according to what has been said in the news, according to sources? These people are not IPOP, neither are they the Eastern Security Network. Well, different reactions from different people. We would like you to let us know your own take on this. Don't forget that gunmen declare a 10 day sit at home order in Enugu community and other markets to be short and also season motorcycles. We would like you to let us know your own take on this. Thank you guys for listening. Subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.